Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Cub, and welcome to the second episode, and I guess the first kind of official episode of Cub's Lab. The last episode was on my gaming channel. I did not realize it was going to be a series when I made it. I just had something I needed to test, and I needed to make a video, and I thought, hey, we can two birds and one stone. So last time, I tried to run two instances of OBS to see if that was possible, and it is. It did kind of work. Today, we're taking it a step further to see if I can use two Elgato Game Capture HD 60 Pros in two separate instances of OBS to record two different computers. Now, I'm almost positive this will work. The thing that we're testing is whether or not the host computer, which is up there on the wall, can record two separate instances while also playing a game. So it's going to be one of the instances. I don't have a lot of hope for this. Uh, I don't think there's enough processing power in there. It's got a 3770K. It's overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. It has a Titan X, but that doesn't really help with this. Uh, and, well, we are using the NVIDIA. I did test it a little bit with the NVIDIA codec, so I guess that does kind of help a little bit. Uh, this, the big, great thing about these cards is they're PCIe-based. They plug right into the motherboard, and they do a lot of internal encoding, decoding, a whole lot of processing on the chip, so the CPU doesn't have to do as much as if we had, like, a USB capture card. So it does take away quite a bit of the workload. I still don't have a whole lot of hope for it. But if it doesn't work, what we can do is at least load both of them into one instance of OBS and switch them on the fly. Essentially meaning that Blackhead Bros, mine and my brother's gaming channel, will officially be able to do live streams because we can switch between the two feeds at once, I hope. Uh, I've been told that the HC60 Pro, the normal consumer driver, does not work with two of these at once. So apparently I'm going to have to fish around the internet for a special driver that will allow us to run two of these in one computer. I don't know how much of this is true. I did as much Googling as I could beforehand. Sounds like it's loose in there. That's a bit concerning. Let's go ahead and do an unboxing. I have an unboxing of this on my gaming channel, like a proper one where I sat down. The lighting was bad and I don't think anything was in focus. But then again, I don't think anything I ever do is in focus. So my brain is never in focus either. So it doesn't really matter, does it? I wonder if that's an accurate size there on the side. I'm not entirely sure. All right, let's pull it open. Here we go. You saw me cut the plastic there. Let's just find out if it is in good shape. <laughs> it is just moving around in there. Wonderful. Great. I guess that's the intended shipping method. So, of course, it comes with... I think the longer bracket is already installed. It's got a nice either hard plastic or... No, it's definitely not metal. Is it? it might just be a coated hard plastic. Elgato Games sticker there you can put on your computer if you're into that sort of thing. Of course, it has the smaller uh, I.O. Uh, back thing. <laughs> Input outputs. There's a term for these. It's compl It was in my mind right up into the point where I had to say it. But uh, if you have a, a shorter system, like a thin computer, you can put that on there. Back, back plate. Back plate. Ah, there we go. It comes with an HDMI cable which I'm, I'm not going to use the other computers in a different room. So I've got this really thick and heavy 30-foot cable that I'm using that does support 1080p at 60fps. I made sure of it. Uh, the instruction manual. Really, who needs that? And all I really care about in here is the HD60 Pro itself. Also, if this is broken and I have to send it back, Elgato, please disregard the fact I just threw the box and all its contents on the ground. Also... Ignore the fact that I'm handling this without any proper static protection. But there it is. It's got the longer backplate on it, and uh, it's got a nice black PCB, which is always nice. It also has a sticker with the serial number on it, which is inconvenient because, let's face it, it just doesn't look... I like nice and clean PCBs. I don't like it when there's a million stickers on there. When you put a bunch of white and green stickers on there, Elgato, it kind of takes away from the fact that it's black. You've ruined it. Let's plug it in, let's load up the computer, and let's see what we can get started. Let's go! Alrighty, folks, well, this was a bit more involved to get set up than I thought it would be. It turns out that I, I kept loading drivers and, and trying different things. It turns out by just going into OBS and selecting the correct devices. So one of the devices, the one you're looking at right now, this is my personal computer. It is just called Elgato Game Capture HD 60. The second one is called Elgato helper assist program or something like that i've got it plugged in and right now on my brother's computer i am just playing 
a live stream from I just wanted some video on there because if it was just a static screen I wouldn't actually be able to see what was happening so what you're watching on that screen is just an old stream it looks like a game is loading up I do truly wish I had skipped ahead because I can see that the face cam's a bit stuttery but I don't know if that's actually the face cam or the the computer trying to well well you know what let's just hop in here I think we went with Empire last time we'll do that again you know just for the sake of consistency in the tests last time I tested this all right so right off the bat looks like things are a little bit stuttery yes indeed experienced that last time as well oh actually you know what this isn't bad this is better I think than last time all right so last time I also bought up and I forgot to do this this time but last time I brought up fraps and we just had it up in the corner giving us our frame rate so I'll go ahead and launch that again let that be a thing. Um, oh gosh, we're being shot at. Fraps is nowhere to be found. There we go. Okay. Oh, well, oh, oh, we need you to go away. Thank you. All right, so we got Fraps up there in the corner now. Looks like we are... Oh my goodness, we're actually doing it. Okay, so let's hop into settings here real quick. We'll see, look at what... We'll, we'll take a look at what we're working with. Uh, on this one, I've got a full screen refresh rate. Okay, it won't go up to 60 hertz. That's fine. I've got vertical sync turned off. 1920 by 1080 it won't let me using these cards go up to uh, 1440p even though my monitor is 1440p and I'm not oh everything is also on ultra so if I turned things down a bit it would probably work a bit better I hadn't even considered adjusting my own settings but uh, in any case I don't actually have my computer plugged into the Elgato and then from the Elgato to the screen like you're supposed to do uh, instead I have it set up where one I have an HDMI feed going to the Elgato and I have an, oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, I'm sorry, I just got distracted by the other screen. And then I have a, oh hi, you're the bad guy. Well, I guess you're the good guy, actually. My mistake, guys, my mistake. And I've got a display port cable going to my monitor. So it's two different cables, and it looks like we're maintaining, it looks stuttery. It says we're maintaining a solid 50 FPS. It doesn't feel like a solid 50 FPS. Uh, also, I'm looking by on the second, I don't know. I guess on the, the other input, in, in the, in the, uh, I can't talk. It appears as if my brother's computer uh, were capturing a footage from that fine. Now, it looks awful, but that's probably because I'm, I'm streaming that video off the internet. It's probably got really low settings. Like, I didn't even bother checking it. Also, for some reason, I think the settings on that Elgato are lower than this one. So it's not really a perfect representation. But <clears throat> I think there definitely needs to be some more testing involved here. But it seems to me right now that I am hugging 60 FPS pretty tightly, which is kind of important. Let's go in here. If we went to settings, if we went to video, let's say we just stroll through here and we turn everything down from ultra to just high. Oh, woe is me. Look at this. I can't play everything on ultra anymore. What a shame. Do I have to hit save or can I just go back? Hop in there, make sure those say, yeah, okay, so you can just exit right back out. All right, how are we doing? That doesn't seem to have had any impact whatsoever on our performance. We're still sitting right around the same. I suppose it's possible maybe Fraps isn't giving us the most accurate FPS um, reading there. And of course, we can always try turning on. This has always... Look, the idea for vertical sync is that it keeps screen tearing from happening. I don't really have trouble with screen tearing. And usually it doesn't, it just keeps the frame rate from going above 60. It doesn't actually keep it at 60. It it generally keeps it below. So yeah, as you can see, that hasn't really helped us any. Although it does, I don't know, that might just be the placebo effect, but it does look kind of smoother. Awesome, even though it is dipping down into the 40s. Overall, this is working. I, I'll give it this. It is kind of working. Um, I'm gonna hop into the other room here for a second and see if I can up the other computer's resolution uh, on that video that's streaming. You leave me alone, you. Alright, well that's a lot better. Uh, the settings still aren't exactly perfect. But what I ended up doing was I remembered that that video that was playing was from a live stream that I had done. So obviously the quality was a bit lower anyway because it's streamed to YouTube. And then they do all sorts of nasty compression to it. So I just turned on a Minecraft video, and it looks sharp. Uh, it's Minecraft, but it doesn't look like it's having these frame rate stutters. Now that I'm not in the action, I seem to be hugging 60 a little bit better, but I'm sure once I run out around this corner, it's just going to take a major dip. 
Still, 50 FPS is not bad. In fact, part of me wonders what I get when I'm not recording that second stream. In fact, I think we should give that a try. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the second stream. Okay, the second stream is stopped. Okay, yeah, without that second stream going, we're still... I mean, we're hugging 60, but we're also still dipping down to the 50s. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what other thing. Well, we're, we're definitely sticking closer to 60 uh, than we were before. Yeah, we're, we're really holding there. It, it looks smooth. It plays smooth. This is a much better experience, personally. By the way, I am just playing against bots, so that's why they just sort of stand there and let you shoot them. I, I didn't want to go into an actual game and then ruin an experience for someone because I'm doing something stupid and unsupported. <laughs> wow, okay. It was quite an explosive, uh... Ah! Well, that was a waste of everyone's time. Alright, and for giggles, boom, I have turned. What the heck just happened? All of the sudden, NVIDIA Shadow Play turns on and decides it's going to record too. Okay, turn that off. What the, what the mess? It didn't stop. It's still going. Oh, good grief. What, what is this shenanigans going on here? I've completely just confused my computer beyond belief. Shadow play? What are you doing? You shouldn't even be on. Get out of here, you. Stop it. Good grief. All right, so we're running a another test. This one's a little bit different. So I've changed nothing on this main recording. It's exactly the same. But I switched the second instance of OBS. It's now recording using the QuickSync H.264 encoder that is on my Intel 3770K. So instance number one is using the NVIDIA. I think it's NV, NVEC, NVEV, it's the NVIDIA H.264 encoder. And we're using the separate one that's built into the CPU on instance two. Yeah, it looks basically the same. Anytime anything gets super intense, it definitely drops to the upper 40s. But I don't know. Let me know down below if you think it looks any better than it did with the, the first test. Because it looks like we're holding... We haven't dipped below 40. So that's fine. And we're definitely sticking close to 60. There's definitely some things I could do, some adjustments I, I could make. I think that really the problem here is going to be my CPU. I think the GPU is fine. Like, the the built-in H.264 encoder on the GPU is what Shadowplay uses. And Shadowplay can record 4K 60fps, no problem. Ooh, I could use one instance of OBS and then another... Oh, and then just use shadow play. Mm. No, because see, now I have two of these capture cards. I have to use them both. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trying to think, though. Yeah, it should be able to, using that codec, one GPU should be enough, just using the 264 encoder on it. So it's probably just a CPU limitation is, is what's causing this dip in frame rate. And in fact, what are we doing? Let's just bring up hardware monitor. And we'll check out what the CPU is doing right now. We can do these sorts of things. Here we go. All right, so CPU utilization right here. This is CPU. Oh, wait, no, this is the motherboard. Okay, here we go. CPU utilization right now sitting at... Huh. <clears throat> so the CPU, 3770K, the last time I did this test where I only had one of the Elgato game captures topped out at, I think, 99% utilization. It might have even hit 100. But it looks like here we haven't even passed, uh, as a whole, 62%, but... Looks like CPU 0 is the only one that hits 71, and that seems to be the highest case of utilization. Since we booted it, that is. Let's go ahead and run around again, because that's only the highest case of utilization since I've opened the application. So let's go do a bit. Let's see if we can get those frame rates to drop again. You have a shield. You do not. You know, I'm pretty bad at this game, so it's amazing that these uh, AI warriors have not managed to kill me yet. Alright, there we go. So it looks like we took a bit of a frame rate drop there. So if we pop back out... Okay, yeah. So we do see utilization up to 98% there on CPU 1. <coughs> Interesting. Of course, this is one game. This is not the most graphically intensive game either. I'm Again, I'm just using this one because this is what I use in the... I'm like inside of his bubble shield. Why is that not... You know what? <laughs> that was a fail. Oh, no, there we go. It kind of worked. Excellent. Sup, guys? I'm not playing the objective at all. Not not even slightly. Uh, I'm just trying to get it to do stuff. 
Okay, so it looks like 98%. Oh, okay. Looks like Thread 6 hit 100%. Interesting. So, yeah, we might be having some CPU issues. That might be the cause. Hmm. Well, folks, things did not go quite the way I had hoped that they would. After recording that footage, I noticed that display number two was very fuzzy, so I attempted some different things to hopefully correct that. Um, and then it just stopped working. After several restarts, a bunch of several different attempts, I could not get OBS to see both images, not even in one instance, and then record. It, it wouldn't record. I tried restarting the computer, I tried unplugging and plugging the cards back in. At the end of it, do cards just doesn't seem to work at all. So I've sent in an email to Elgato and I'll let you know what they tell me. I looked all over the internet, I could never find this special driver that people talk about that allows you to use two separate cards. I believe that it's out there. I just, I don't know where it is, I don't know what else to try. Out of time though for today, I'll let y'all know how it goes uh, moving forward. Thank you for watching Cubs Lab, this thing that's now a series, I guess. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>